okay, it, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, instruction, and righteousness. This is what we have between these four, these two covers, between the top, the front cover and the back cover. It is words inspired by God, not man, not of anybody's opinion, inspired by God. So it doesn't matter how I think, it doesn't matter how you think, it doesn't matter. What matters is where it came from, and it came from God. Amen? Amen. And that's what we want to hear. Inspired of God and given by God. Well, amen. Praise we can God. stop this and as soon as somebody wants to be a member. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Paul's this this is God. our pastor right here, and and this Pastor Perkins, and I'm Lady Perkins, and and you know what? Just go ahead and enjoy the Sunday school, and we are going to talk to you right afterwards. Okay, praise God in your name. Martine Epps. Martine Epps. Okay, nice Martine. Glad to meet you. God bless you. God bless you. And we're gonna talk to you right after. Okay. 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 Praise God. And you can interact. Uh huh. And, and just have a seat, and you can enjoy with us, and then we're gonna speak to you right after. Okay. Okay. Love you guys. Love you. Love you too. Bless God. And this is what it's about. Amen. 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 This is what it's all about. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. We love you. We got a new family. Just like that, honey. Amen. And our teaching outline, here's our icebreaker. It says here, why do you think some people doubt the accuracy, truth, and reliability of the Bible? That's just the icebreaker. We can say many things why people doubt it. Sometimes it's because it's something they don't, they wouldn't like to hear, or maybe just not their cultural way, style of thinking. It's many reasons why people think the way they think. But with all of our thoughts and ideas, the scripture says our ways are not God's ways, and neither our God. thoughts, God's thoughts, God. they're far off, they're far as the east is from the west. Amen. So it's Amen. not about us, it's about what God says. And we can only know and understand the spirit of the, the, the the Bible, the Word of God through Amen. the Spirit. Of God. Yes, yes. Amen. So it takes the Holy Ghost, which is the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. It takes the Spirit of God to give the understanding of the Word. We mm -hmm. can read the Bible. There was one question here that said, uh, "How long has it been since you read the Bible from the beginning to the end?" I'm gonna tell you, I tried. But every time I start reading the Bible from the beginning, I keep getting these references that make me go back and say, "Ooh." I know why this is that. Oh, I think this is referring me back to that. I get to the New Testament and it's sending me back to the Old Testament because there's something that confirms it. I just love the way the Bible is so knitted and so interwoven and it confirms and it reconfirms itself. That's what makes it, it brings me joy just studying it because it helps me understand why, why the law was put in place by Moses. It helps me understand and appreciate the fact that it was there. But it makes me love and appreciate more so why grace came. Hallelujah. Why I needed a Savior. Why I needed the blood of Jesus. Why he came and fulfilled the law and opened up the way and allowed us access to his throne. I would, every time I try to go from the beginning to the end, I get so excited all in the middle. I keep going back and get this piece to go back there. So to be honest with you, I've never made it from the beginning straight to the end. Though I've been in the beginning, been in the middle, and been in the end. But I keep all of my life back before referring because of the way the Bible is interwoven. Amen. Like pitched in, pitched out. Just like the pitch was on the ark. It's just the way it is. There's so much confirming and reconfirming it types and shadows. Yes. Oh, I just love that. I just love how the dots connect. All right, all right. See, Jesus said, Lord, I come in the Bible, you mother book. Yes. Yes. Uh, it is written of me. So that's why, why I just love it so much. All right, I, I, all I right. think if I read it to the, from the beginning to the end, there'll still be something I missed. Why? Because
because there's deeper depths and higher heights in God. Mm -hmm. Since he is his word in the beginning was the word, words with God, the word right, was right. God. Since he is his word, all mm -hmm. things are made by him. Yes. Since he is his, the word made flesh, yes. after reading it from the beginning to the end, there'll be something else to read. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Because he is the word made mm -hmm. flesh that dwelt among us. Yeah. He's the word in us, the Holy Ghost yeah. in us, the Spirit of the hope of glory Hallelujah. So after reading, then the Holy Ghost moves again. Mm -hmm. Now both shot. But it's a lie. Make you read something else. Mm -hmm. You could have read the first thing and the same thing and find out it's a whole new something. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's living word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's living. He's so good. Yes, He's so yes. good. We're going to get into the lesson because uh, Jeremiah is my cousin. I got a lot of cousins in the Bible. <laughs> I say Jeremiah is my cousin because of his type of ministry. His type of ministry didn't make a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a lot of friends because Jeremiah is my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know a little bit, a little tad bit of what he might have felt when you got to tell somebody right, something right. and they not going to want to hear it. Mm -hmm. I've been there, done that, still doing it. That's my lot. Everybody in the Bible, everybody in the kingdom, everybody in the body of Christ have a purpose. And we are not our own. Mm -hmm. Since we're not our own, we have to do what the Lord said do. Yes. And sometimes it don't make friends. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah said it's just like fire, shut up in my bones. I hear people say that all the time, and I've said it too. Because the Holy Ghost is that. It's like fire, shut up in your bones. It makes you move. It makes you feel that. But Jeremiah, when he said it, he wasn't at that because when he told God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to speak for you no more in your name. I don't want this, this, this assignment. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was like fire. Mm -hmm. Hot trouble, son. I made him do what he didn't feel like doing. Sometimes when you don't feel like going, the Holy Ghost quickens you yeah. and make yeah. you still yeah. do. Make you go a little further. Make you love a little deeper. Make you stretch your arm a little further. The Holy Ghost does that. All right. That's All why right. like fire. Some assignments you get, and I know I'm not feeling you want to get an assignment that they don't want. But because we are not our own, and the Holy Ghost, it, it empowers us, constrains us to still do what God says do, we go on. Hallelujah, and we're so glad we did, because there is a reward to he that obeys. Not just he, but obey the word. Yes, yes, whether it's yes. a collective word or individual word, whether it's a personal word, or whether it's typed up in the written book, mm -hmm. where it comes to the preach word, or whether he speaks to you on your bed in a dream. Mm -hmm. If it's the word of God, he meant for you to heed. Mm -hmm. Woo, shot, and obey. Mm -hmm. One of the first commandments that every God was hear, O Israel. Hear, hear. Hey, that's why the ear gate is that gate that leads to the spiritual realm. It's the only gate that leads to the spiritual realm. The ear gate. Hallelujah. And the first commandment here is what God was here. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Here, yes. oh Israel. Lord thy God is one. Mm. Oh, will shine. And I'm saying right here, here, Los Angeles. Mm. Here, South Central. Here, San Pedro. There, mm. your Shanda. The Lord thy God is one. Mm. Hey, he put us on this parking lot that you may hear and have hope. Hallelujah. That you may not only hear, but heed and obey. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What's the point of hearing if you're not going to obey? Mm. Glory to God. But thank God that he sends the word. Because yes. his whole goal is that we will come to what? Repentance. Change of mind. Change a lifestyle. Change. Change. All right, all right. Stop that and start this. That's it. Glory to right. God. If you start, he'll help you all the way through. Change. Right. That's called repentance. We start for well, the wrong and just start changing. He'll help you. Glory to God. In our lesson, it says here in our outline, the first outline, it says, God told Jeremiah to write on a scroll. And he had to obey, he did. And God sought to bring Judah to a place of repentance. A little further back, the uh, the, the Israel uh, was divided. 
The kingdom was divided, northern and southern kingdom. You have Israel and you have Judah. And out of the lineage of Judah came Jesus. That's where you get the Jews from the lineage of Judah. Amen. It says here the name of one, oh, it says name one person whose spiritual example has been, has had the most influence in your life. Now, why did they ask this? Because they're giving input, they're letting the class uh, take part. And we all can name someone that have had uh, influence in our lives. I know, so the Lord, I can tell you that in your life, it's like, it's like, I can tell you. Why? Because we have discussed the influences. But if our guests would like to say, or if anyone else want to say anyone on the line, you're welcome to do that. Amen. Uh, Jeremiah commanded, um, it's, I'm just reading the outline, commanded Barak to read the scroll to the people. A fast was proclaimed. God expects us to heed and obey his word. Okay, all right, number, section number two. The scroll was brought to the king. Jehudah read the scroll to Jehokim. B, the king burned the scroll. What a response to the word. The king and his servants were unmoved by the word. We must never, this is deep, we must never become unmoved by God's word. Um, and under that it says, are the scriptures you avoid, are there scriptures you avoid reading because they make you uncomfortable? There are a lot of scriptures that can make a person uncomfortable, but let's not avoid reading it because they are written for our learning and to help us. The time is coming, this is section three, the time is coming when people will not tolerate sound doctrine. Let me say now, because so the Bible is living, that time is here. Yes, yes. A, some people want to control what they hear from God's word. Present tense, B, God's word, sorry, our world is offended by God's word. Present tense again. C, I will heed and obey God's word. Should be present tense, let's say present tense. Amen. Okay. And I just want to just make sure I read the hour so you can know what this lesson covers and what because of time i'm just going to hit a little bit from each section okay section one um let me just tell you the king's response jeremiah was sent to the king the king's response was not good you have in the bible good kings and you have bad kings just like today, and let me just make connection. You have good leadership and you have bad leadership. You have leadership that leads you toward Christ and you have leadership that leads you to themselves for their own gain. It is what it is. The Bible is written for our learning. We thank God for the good leaders that lead us to Christ and live the life. Don't just leave me there. Live that life in front of me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, Amen. A lot of people lead people to the right place, but they're not doing right. So we want to be good examples. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, so uh, in this section, and I'm highlighting because of time, it says here, um, even after, you know, when you see, when you look at in the past and see what they were doing and see how it produced, mm -hmm. wouldn't you want to not just replicate it, but build on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. But this particular king knew how God loved his father, knew how God honored his father, knew how they won battles. But then when it was his turn to reign, he just did just the opposite, which is, I call it foolish. Amen? Amen? And he had people that back the foolishness. Today we got people that back foolishness, support foolishness. And then, you know, remember David said, I, I, my foot would slip, 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 slip. If I kept my eyes on the paraphrasing, mm -hmm. I kept my eyes on the weak, my mm -hmm. foot would slip. You see so much weakness in the world, but you have to keep your eyes on God. Yes. Remember your foundation. Remember what worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And build on it. I didn't say just replicate it and copy. We're supposed to be going forward and upward. 
Improve me, but right, don't yeah. dismiss right. what you know works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't forsake your, your, your upbringing. Mm -hmm. Amen, but that's what this king did. Moving forward, Jeremiah commanded that the scrolls be read in the king's presence. And uh, let me tell you, they found the scroll, the word, first of all, and they cleaned up the temple. Sometimes you find some things. Have you ever cleaned your house? I mean, gave yourself your, your, your closet a real good cleaning. You'll find things. Some things you've been looking for a long time. So they found the word of God. But when the Lord told him, write and tell Judah to repent, there were some glad to do it. But there were so many that wanted to follow the kings. You know, people want to be in. You know, I don't want to make the king mad, so I'm just going to go along with him. Mm -hmm. Our allegiance is to God. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. And today, that I'm bringing it home. We got a lot of people just doing to be in. Mm -hmm. I just want to be in the in crowd. I just want to be with my friends. I just don't want to be standing out. I don't want anybody to think I'm not with. But I'd rather stand on the word of God and right. pastor how we say it's there in heaven itself. Why? Right. Because heaven and earth will pass away mm -hmm. before one job of his word, man. Right. So if you feel that like you are a minority, mm -hmm. be one for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. That's what happened with Jeremiah and those who were with him. Moving forward, I'm just highlighting because of time. Um, the king, you would think, oh, I'm right here in, in um, B. I'm, I'm just reading. I'm trying to go fast. It's hard for me to go fast, y'all, because I really enjoyed this lesson. However, let me move on to page um, 84. It says here, my note says here, the projects, I'm going back here because, uh, let's see, there was a warning. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, that's what that started right there. Okay. The um warning came. And the purpose of the warning was to get Judah to repent. All right. That's God's purpose altogether. Because he's trying to reconcile, he wants to reconcile men. He made the way that we can be reconciled. Amen. Yeah. However, it's still a choice. It's God's goodness that even causes someone to repent. On page 84 in the first paragraph, it says that the Lord had attempted through many royal administrations to bring Israel and Judah to a place of repentance and spiritual restoration. These are moments of hope as with Josiah, but spiritual recovery was temporary still. And it was still temporary because Jesus had not come on the scene with his everlasting blood. Still the Lord yearned for a reason to extend forgiveness. When I saw that word yarn, I could see Jesus hanging on the cross when he said, I thirst. It's something way down in me. He thirsted, and they gave him vinegar to drink. But it was symbolic as well as an actual right here on the cross. So when you lose the blood, you get thirsty. But when I saw he, he yearned, God desires All right. to fellowship yes, with us. Yes. He loves to commune with us. Mm -hmm. He loves, he wants to give us the kingdom. It's his mm -hmm. good pleasure. So he yearned, mm -hmm. just like Jesus on the cross, thirst. He wants this. Hallelujah. However, he wanted Israel to hear. Hearing the word of God brought hope. Hope to the people, and his hope, God's hope, was that they repent from their evil ways. The king proclaimed the facts. It says here in C, upon the first reading of Jared the first, but it came more than one time, it came at least three times. Mm -hmm. it came, upon the first reading of Jeremiah, you can find out Jeremiah 36 and 9, it's, it, we, it says here we must assume the uh, we may assume the proclaimed fast was due to Jared Kim's, that's the king's repentance, but it was not. That was not the case. The king had not 
yet heard the reading of the scroll. When he did, the king was not responding to with repentance. The scroll originated in the fourth year of Jer King's reign. That's when it was originated. Now in the ninth month, in the fifth year, there was a general call for a fast. This led to the reading of Jeremiah's words by Barak. That fast right there, just it was opening a door. Some actually wanted to change their ways, but many did not. Um, I'm reading here now where it says um, indeed when the when we open the scriptures we soon discover they not only call to be read but to be obeyed back then in the Bible they would stand for hours hearing the Old Testament or what you call the Torah or to not read. And they would stand because that's what they had. The priests, the Levites, they would do that. Now, I was calling forward. When we hear the word, hard not our heart, obey, begin to put it in action so that the word can be as a seed to take root and begin to sprout and grow in us and bring forth fruit. That is the goal of the word of God. And it is very true. It is a revelation. If you go from be the beginning all the way to revelation, you will hear, hear the words, hear the prophecy in this book. Blessed is he that obeys. Blessed is he that hears mm -hmm. and obeys. You'll find that in Genesis, you'll find it in Revelation, you'll find it in Numbers, you'll find it all the way through the Bible. Hear and obey. All right. Because too many people are just hearing. You can find the word of God all over social media. Somebody somewhere, even now in the parking lot, is proclaiming the word of God. But to hear is not enough. He that had the ear to hear, let me hear what the Spirit says to the church. That means an inner ear to obey. But Jeremiah didn't want to keep on doing this. It did not give him popularity. Let me take that back. He was very popular. Because mm -hmm. so the king was really afraid of him. The king knew he was right. But he was scorned. He was thrown into a cistern. He was beat up. He was proclaiming the word of God. Like the last chance. You know, yeah. they they getting ready to be captive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why the word is coming to the, the land now. You think you got it going good, but you're about to be captive. All right, all right. Hallelujah. All right. It's Glory coming. Warning, come before destruction. Mm -hmm. But Jeremiah didn't want to do this because it costs to do your job for mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But he was man. God told him things beforehand. But when the king burned the scroll, I'm over on page 85. I skipped on over there to be 85. The king burned the scroll. Woo! When I, I read that, it, it, that's such an outward rejection. Burn. I mean, to ball it up is one thing, but to put it in fire? You were speaking volumes, you know? When you burn something right before somebody's face, you not only meant that you were not going to heed, but you wanted them to know, I shall not. I'm done. Burn. But when we hear the word of God today, mm -hmm. spoken with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, spoken through the fire of God, and we just reject it, that's just like what the king did. Burned it. We are just as guilty as this king of burning the word of God. He, they were unmoved. We never want to be unmoved. Some people say, you know, I'm used to church. I just know what they do. You know, I get used to the way church is. We go, we do X, Y, Z, or whatever. We get up, we do this, we do that's used to. When you get a mindset of used to, that's just like burning mm -hmm. the word of God. It's the same thing because it's a type of complacentness that causes rejection. Amen? Amen. 
Amen. The king and his servants was unmoved by the word of God. We must never become unmoved by the word of God. Uh, uh, when when, when I, I saw how this response was, it came to me, touch not my anointing. Right. You know the word of God is anointed? Yes, yes, yes. And the one bringing it through the unction of the Holy Ghost is anointed. All right, all right. Whether they be the pastor, whether they be the janitor, whether they be the gardener, if they bring you the word of God through the power of the Holy Ghost, that's God's infallible word. Mm -hmm. And the word says, touch not mine anointing. Mm -hmm. That's touching his word. That's burning it. Picture it in your mind when somebody says, repent. And you take that and burn it. You are cutting off your own lifeline. Amen. We don't want to do this. We're showing you a king that was a negative king. Though he had good leaders that came before him. We don't want to be like this. And though we may not be a king, we are responsible for hearing. All right. And we're responsible for heeding. We are responsible for obeying the word. Amen. Um, on the on page 86 it says the time is coming when people will not tolerate sound doctrine now when they wrote this they wrote it in the in the future tense the time is coming mm -hmm. when you read what is true and you read back then it's coming don't you know there is a fulfillment where it is now here well, this is here. Okay. So I'm letting you know how true the word is. The word here says the time is coming. Da da is here. Da da, -da is here. It said the time is coming where people will not tolerate some doctrine. You can find that in Jeremiah. You can also find it in Timothy. Um. Let me read a little bit of that. Um, where it says in B, section B, our word, our world is offended by God's word. And it says God's word cuts, it's like two edges of words, across the grain of humanistic prophecy, of philosophies, humanistic philosophy. It is offensive to those who oppose to God's purpose and in their lives. Now, we have a lot of philosophy. We have a lot of philosophers. We have a lot of opinions, a lot of rights. And we do have rights. But once upon a time, rights was sounding like it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the, 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 the discussion of rights is bringing on so much controversy that that thing that sounded good is turning kind of sour here and there. It's not what they're saying is the vein in which we are operating. Amen? Amen? So what it is, is a curse. I want to go back there. During Jehoiakim's time, there was something spoken that there will be no king that comes after him. And it, it was going to be no one on the throne. Him. Let's read what it says here because these times have come to pass. Right here in section A, it says, Now we discover that Jehovah, as Jehovah was burning the first quote, he said, Why have you written it? Why have you written in it that the king of Babylon will certainly come and destroy this land and cause man and beast to cease from here? That's Jeremiah 36, 29. The answer to this question was Jehoiakim's reign was moving to a temporary end of the divinity. David's lineage onto the throne. And the word is temporary. That's very key. Why am I saying that? Because Jesus came through the tribe of the lineage of David. And his dead body, it says here, and his dead body shall be cast out to the heat of the day and the frost of the night. We are my 36 and 30. Mm -hmm. Further, the Lord said, I will punish him, his family, and his servants for their iniquity. And I will bring on them 
and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Okay. okay. And on the men of Judah, all the doom that I have pronounced against them. But they did not heed. If you are hearing that God will do these things if you don't hear, why wouldn't you take heed? Common sense said God, the creator of all, is telling us to get right. He who holds our life, all he right. who holds the power of this world, he who holds our actual breath, breath, the breath we breathe, he's telling us to get right. Why would we obey? Why would we take heed? But they refused. They told, Jeremiah told him the king of Babylon was going to come in and take it all. Yes. Well, God loved us. He surely he wouldn't let that happen to mm -hmm. us. We mm -hmm. are his chosen. But you're chosen to obey God. Yeah, all right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But they disobeyed. Many times, many times Israel did not obey God. However, he kept a plan of restoration in place for them. So this is what Jeremiah was giving them, the word of God, that they may change their ways and get back to the one true God because the king before him, the king had brought in these other gods, set up these things in the temple. We got to understand, though, Okay, you can do that right here. here. So, um, the point is, we have to watch what's brought into the temple. Mm -hmm. This king was doing so many things contrary to what his fathers taught him, to what they were doing, to what they were brought up with. He said, God said already, they have no other God before them. Don't make any great images. Don't bring these things. Don't mix. Don't do this. But they were bringing things, not only doing things, but bringing it into the temple, causing people to serve other gods. This was an abomination to God. So, of course, God was not going to sit there and just say nothing. He sent the word. Stop. Time. No more of this. I'm giving you a chance to recover. I'm giving you a chance to change your ways. Don't do these things. I've already told you. And you heard, you still doing it. So now I'm sending my uh, prophet. Most of the time, when a prophet comes, you already know. You already know. When a prophet comes to tell you something, he simply confirming what you already know. Usually, there are times a word of information you didn't know about, but most of the time, it's things you already know. These, the, the, the children of Israel look not to bring those things to the temple. They were desecrating the temple of idols. However, God was tired. And the word of God came across with a two-edged sword. So however, they had a chance to repent. They did not, and the king of Babylon came in and took over. Such a sad situation. Such a sad, sad situation. Mm -hmm. But it happened as it was spoken. We got to realize what he said will come to pass. Yes, will yes. Will come to pass. Come the to good, pass. the bad, and the ugly. If he said it, it's going to happen. I know it to be true because we are self evident. Amen? Self evident. Hallelujah. <laughs> God, I'm hearing our preamble now. <laughs> All right, yes. We hold these truths to be self evident. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting ready to say, no, I'm in the creative people. That's true. Yeah, that's in the preamble. But I'm getting ready to say, self evident that the word of God is true. I have evidence that what he said happened. Because one day, on the day of Pentecost, Peter preached the message and it came to pass. Why? Because we needed a savior. Over here, it's, it was stated a temporary. It was temporary that no one was sit on the throne of David. But then came Jesus. Hallelujah. Contrary to what many believe, Jesus came. Hallelujah. He had to come through David because it was prophesied. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 And he is the king of Israel. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Jesus brought it through. Oh. And he said, I am the king. And I'm going to tell you, made many people mad. That's why they crucified him mm -hmm. and hung him on the cross. But his blood was shed. He was the Lamb of God. He was. He is. Right now. That Lamb's blood is just speaking. Yes, it's yes. yet atoning. Yes. Because they didn't heed then. Yes. Maybe they'll heed now. The blood of Jesus can cause you to get an ear. To hear with your spiritual ear. It can draw you. Because none can come to him. Except he draw them. Mm -hmm. So he said he. Hallelujah. Don't just hear what I'm saying. Obey it. Obey it. Obey it. Yeah. What am I obeying? Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Yeah. Everybody sick and tired of being sick and tired. Come. Yeah. Change your ways while you still have time. Babylon. Yeah. The same spirit, the same urgency Jeremiah was preaching about is preached today. Yeah. It was preached that if you don't repent, destruction is coming to the land. If you don't hear what I'm saying, destruction is coming to the land. You can burn the scrolls if you want to, but what if some don't believe? Hallelujah. It doesn't make the word of God none effect. None effect. The word of God yes stands. Yes, you can yes, burn yes. it if you want to. It's yet right. Yes, yes, right. Hallelujah. You can put the Bible on Shelf and never open it again. Is yet yep, coming right. to pass. Sorry. Woo, mm. I'm shanda. I know it's true. Because one day when he said, if you repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter preached that on the day of Pentecost. Going down, that's your feet yes. in Jerusalem. And guess what? God makes you all those special in with that to hear it. Mm -hmm. So they can witness yes. that it happened. As he said, Lord, yes. uh, Joel prophesied it, and it came to pass. And they were witnesses on the day of Pentecost in the book of the second chapter of Acts. And because all down through those generations, it happened to me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Did it happen to you? Glory to God! Did it happen to you? Lord, Lord. Did it happen to you? Lord. That means the word of God is true. Yes. And if that was true, why? he lied in the other part. There is no part of the word of God that's a lie. If he fulfilled that, he would fulfill this. If he fulfilled this, he'll fulfill that over there. He's coming again. And if you don't get right, if you don't get ready, just as urgent as Jeremiah was saying, repent, because Babylon, hallelujah, that same spirit that destroyed There are so many leaders that just like to say things that get the numbers, get the shouts. But guess what? It's time to live holy and it's right. It's time to live according to the will of God. It's time to do the commission, the goal ye therefore. Ah, the let your light shine commission, the salt of the land. The song of the earth commission. These are commissions. Yes, yes. These are lifestyles. Why? Because it's time for the people to come in while the door of grace yes. is yet open. See, we have the law under Moses, but we are under grace. Hallelujah. And that's to a window of time. Ah, so I'm proclaiming. That's my assignment. I hope everybody knows their assignment. Glory my assignment is to proclaim. You have a choice. You have two choices. You have a choice to believe. I mean, internalizing the message. You have a choice to believe or you can disbelieve. Mm -hmm. You have a choice to understand how consistent the word of God has been from Genesis, Genesis to Revelation. You can start at Genesis and stop at Malachi if you want to. But let me let you know there is a new testament. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood. How are you? New Testament mm -hmm. written through the blood of Jesus, inspired and found the word of God. It doesn't just go from Genesis to Malachi, it goes all the way to Revelation. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Why am I saying that? We're not just under the law, we're not under the law. The law was our schoolmaster showing us our sin.
sin. Hallelujah. But Christ came yes. that we may be delivered, Lord. saved from our sins. There was a lamb in the Old Testament. Oh, and there's a lamb in the New Testament. The lamb blood, lamb's blood in the Old Testament was done often, temporarily removing the stain. But only the blood of Jesus. That's in the same word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I said the same word. Yes, yes. If you believe that, you need to believe this. Hallelujah. You must be baptized Glory. and filled with the Holy Ghost. How am I to be baptized? In the name of Jesus. Why the name of Jesus? Because there is no other name given under heaven whereby men must be saved. Why am I saying this? It's in the word. Mm. Woo! But unfortunately, some are unmoved by the word mm. of God. Unmoved. Mm. Don't face me. Been there, done that, heard that before. My mama been sinned and my grandmama been sinned. Jesus is coming. Unmoved. If you really believe the word of God, some things you wouldn't be doing. Because you'll be expecting right. God to crack that sky. Mm. We used to be, when we were younger, we used to think a big old eye was in the sky watching us. Yeah. One time, uh, Savannah's Clark was on her job before she got saved, telling her testimony. <laughs> and she was scared. She heard a big old sound at work. You want to tell her? You want me to tell her? She heard a big old sound at work. She was working on the machine. She wasn't saying yet. And she saw Clark and see she knew the way. See, she listen. She had heard the word. But she didn't heed. She didn't she heard it. And she didn't obey. So all her life she knew better. So she was living on her own lifestyle, doing what she wanted to do. Heard a big gigantic sound at her job. And she got scared, told and start crying, told everybody, go outside. Everybody go outside. Jesus has come. <laughs> it's over, y'all. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> she was crying. This is that was crying over there. Was crying, y'all. On her job, tell everybody go outside and look up. Jesus came. <laughs> but she was crying. Why? Because she knew that word was true. Fortunately, he had not come. It was some kind of machine that did something on the job. But she knows what. Right. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> but you got to heed and obey. Yes. So you won't be scared. Mm. <laughs> we will appreciate the coming of the Lord. We look forward to the coming of the Lord. When we look, when we know we're doing what he told us to do. When we are found doing his will. We want to be as that servant that believes and obeys. And be found doing, mm -hmm. not just hearing, but a doer of the word. That's obeying. Mm -hmm. Not for our own gain, but to please God. Yes, yes, yes. The word is very consistent. All through the word, all from Genesis to Revelation, because it is the infallible word of God. And in this in second uh Timothy 3, 15, this is one of my favorite scriptures. This is when I was a child. God told me, even when I had to relocate to another church and then come back to my home church, the Lord told me to remember the things that I have learned mm -hmm. and been assured of. See, to learn is one thing. Sister Hunter said, if you learn and just stick with what you learn, somebody can teach better and teach that out of you. But to go further, to, know. to be, be assured of. You now have proof in a relationship with mm -hmm. God, not just the letter of his word. You have a relationship, you learn, you have been having experiences mm -hmm. with God. So now you not only believe, but you know mm -hmm. that his word is true because of your walk with him, your relationship with him, the experience, the one-on-one -on -one encounters. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, somebody is missing, missing an encounter. That's what's missing. Oh, Hallelujah. See, Jeremiah had an encounter with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even when he was a child, he was running from him. He said, the Lord said, Jeremiah, what do you see? Ah, oh, do you see what I see? Jeremiah, what do you see? He had to use things to get Jeremiah's attention. 
kitchen. Yes, yes. He told him, I see a pot, I see a urn, I see the almond tree. Yes. I'm just, just paraphrasing. Uh -huh. I see this, I see that. Jeremiah, huh? what do you see? Today, God is, let, is asking somebody, what do you see? Ah, mm. because oh, you know what you know. But you got to know what the Lord is saying about what you, what see. you see. Jeremiah, what do you see? I got to use you, Jeremiah. Yes, yes. I'm going to purify your tongue. He, and, and you know what? The same thing he did for Jeremiah, he did for Isaiah. He dealt with that tongue. Yeah. Because in that tongue was the power of life and death. Right. You got to say what well, I'm telling you to say, Jeremiah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to purify your tongue. I'm going to put my words in your mouth, yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah. And you got to have a boldness and an attitude. I don't care what you Hallelujah. Think. I don't care how you feel. What is Yes, yes. People waving yes. right now, but guess what? They hear me. Yes. The words that come out of my mouth have to be life. Yes. Jesus came mm -hmm. that you may have life and that more abundantly. The Lord brought us to this point. Yes. But then came Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. There was a king after Jehovah. There was a king. That king is king. Yes. That king is Jesus. Mm -hmm. He is on the throne right yeah. Glory to God. They, and it was Pilate that put up, and he had the sign put up, Jesus, the king of the Jews. Yeah. And the preacher said, no, take that down. We have no king but Caesar. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, y'all really want to say that? Y'all really want to say that? Y'all mm -hmm. know, know not to say that, but they said, but they wanted to keep that, that, that relationship. They wanted to protect. They, didn't, they wanted to protect what they had. So they said, he's not. But they did I tell you what they didn't take it down. Mm -mm. Oh. But and when they pierced him, mm -hmm. they pierced him in his side. Yes. Glory Ooh, to God. That's why I love it. Because you can go to Genesis in the uh, 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 with the ark of Noah. And you will see the door was put in the side. That was a type and shadow of the door of Noah put in Jesus. Yes, side. yes. Salvation yes. on the water. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And salvation coming out the side. The door. Yes, yes, it's yes, the yes. same God, God from Genesis to Revelation yes. because He is His Word, yes. the infallible yes. Word of God, yes. and we must be moved to repentance. Yes, don't be unmoved, be moved. Oh, Woo. Be moved to doing better, be moved to going further, yes. be moved in the right way by the Word of God. Don't be unmoved. Glory to God. Don't be unmoved. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, we have the evidence that the word of God is true because we're living by his word right now. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 I have the living word of God. I have the Holy Ghost. The hope of glory. That is the word of God. Hey, glory to God. Jesus is. He said in, in, in first John in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. Yeah. The same was in the beginning with God. Go down to the 14th chapter, and it says uh, that the word was made what? Flesh. Flesh. And it dwelt among us. He brought it forth and manifested. So I just want you to be blessed and don't just be a hearer. Be a doer of the word. Yeah. Don't be unmoved by the word. Be moved forward and upward in the will of God by the word. Don't have a hard heart. Because the scripture was telling us the day you hear his voice, hard not your heart. And the voice is through the word. The voice of God is coming through his word. Now he can speak to you through a burning bush, mm -hmm. through dreams, visions. He can speak to you through anything he desires because he's God. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. But when he speaks, when he brings you the word, be not unmoved. Be moved deeper forward in him to do his will and please him. So we want to be ready when he comes. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes, he's Amen. coming again. Yes. And that's the word. And in Revelation, he said, blessed are those that believe the prophecies in what? 
this book. <laughs> yeah, this book. This book. Ah, oh, I got something out of that. Mm-hmm. This book. Mm-hmm. Glory to what book am I talking about? Jeremiah had a scroll. Hallelujah. Jeremiah had a scroll. Yeah. Huh? We got the Bible. Because right. yeah. the law was written after Jeremiah. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. You can't stop there. Glory to God. You can't stop with just believing. Right. Hallelujah. The law was written. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. And it was written by inspiration of God. Yeah. And if you are Jeremiah, you just buckle up. You just get ready and you get busy. Yeah. Because they got to know. Mm. And if you don't do what God says, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Because God gave the word in your mouth. Mm. And you got to proclaim the warning. Mm. Because warning comes before destruction. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 People of God. Hallelujah. Leadership. You cannot bend. You cannot just say what somebody likes. Mm. Jeremiah had to be strong. Mm. He had to proclaim truth. Yeah. It was yeah. a matter of life and death. Mm-hmm. Whether they reject it or believe it, yeah. speak the truth. Yeah. Mm. Shut up and, oh. and save somebody's soul. Oh. Hallelujah. And don't expect a bunch of friends. He didn't have a whole lot. And let me tell y'all something. This was God. He brought some land. He brought some land. Mm-hmm. How are you going to be buying land during the pandemic? All right. All right. How are you going to be buying land during when you're about to get taken over by Babylon? All right. He purchased some land. Yes, all, right. All, right. all right. All right. So guess what? Prosperity is in it too. Yes. During yes. a hard time. Mm-hmm. Hey, hallelujah. Look for the blessings of God while you obey yes. in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God. We praise God for that lesson. We praise God for that lesson by evangelists. Praise God. God is good. God is good. And 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 we we want to proclaim and do the will of God because yes. we want God please. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. We won't don't want to be found burning the word and burning the scrolls and burning uh, the truth of God. We want to be found in it and in His perfect will. We thank you for joining us thus far. Hallelujah. We're going to end at this time and we're going to be back at 1130. You'll find us on Zoom. You can you can look at Evangelist Owens, Zena Owens, uh, Facebook. You'll find us there. But we will be back at 1130. So come on in and join us and join and enjoy God with us. We're looking for to go even higher. We're looking to go even higher in the word of god because we have an expectation he's already started y'all he already started glory to god we looking we we looking for and uh just to go higher we excited we excited about the things of god so be blessed uh let the word to my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight oh lord strength and you are our my redeemer. God bless you. And we'll be back at 1130. Join us and come back and join us. God bless you.